All right, guys, welcome. We hope you are excited to stay here and enjoy some time here by Silver Lake on the channel. Just thought I'd give you a little welcome email, share some information with you, some requests that we have and reminders and some tips to help you have a good stay here. Um, first of all is just the parking situation. Uh, our, our lot is fairly narrow, but our driveway I think is plenty sufficient for a few cars and a trailer. So we just ask you as much as possible, stay on the driveway. Please do not for any reason park on our neighbor's driveway and do not park in our front lawn. Our septic drain field is in there. We wouldn't want you to damage that. Um, trash is on Monday. So try to get as much in there as you can, but um, please know that most of our turnovers are on Fridays. So people are gonna come in and probably make some trash over the weekend as they're getting settled in. So please leave a little room for the next set of renters so they can get some trash in the can. Um, that pole there kind of shows you where our lot line is. We've had some unfortunate renters in the past. Um, just have really large groups up here. Um, we had a group of over 25, unfortunately, um, and they just made a mess and bothered all the neighbors and they were on their yards and on their docks. And, you know, guys, we just really uh, want you to keep in mind how many people you said were renting. And uh, please keep in mind that you are renting our property. You didn't rent my neighbor's house. Um, you know, we don't mind if you guys have some people over for some meals, but we don't want this to be the hub if you're traveling with a larger group and have several families in the area. Hope you guys can understand that and appreciate that. Um, if you need it, we do have a fire extinguisher in the kitchen here. I sure pray you don't need it. Uh, we do have a Weber grill right here. We've got some extra propane. We provide that for you so you don't have to hassle with it. I'll show you in the shed in just a couple minutes. Um, there's some extra tanks in case you run out. Please keep in mind that the house is on a septic system. So I just want you to be uh, cautious of what you're putting down the drain as well as what you are putting down the toilet. Um, ladies especially, um, your products will need to go in the trash can because the house is a walkout basement. There's a lift pump. All the waste goes through a solids grinder and that thing will get uh, bound up if you flush something that you shouldn't. And unfortunately, nothing happens too quickly out here. So you could be without plumbing for a little while, and I, I don't want that to happen. We've never had it happen. Um, fingers crossed it never does. But uh, I at least want you to be aware of that. Uh, I have it off for the video, but um, I leave this dehumidifier set at 50%. Um, it runs quite a bit. Um, it it, you know, it doesn't turn off a lot of times. Um, it does drain into the sink, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, got the bedroom back here, and uh, this room is, uh, we keep it locked. We've got uh, a lot of our personal stuff in here. We use the home quite a bit and uh, rent it out some also, so we keep some of our personal stuff in there. You are welcome to use whatever uh, games, TVs, um, there's board games, and a uh, card table and extra chairs in there and puzzles if it's rainy. We do have the Nintendo Wii. There's a fire stick on the TV upstairs and a smart Blu-ray here. Um, use it. We just obviously ask that you take care of it. Clean up after yourself at the end of your stay so our cleaning lady doesn't have to arrange video games that uh, your kids got out. Um, and don't forget to sign out of your accounts. We have obviously we've done that. Um, just remember to hit log out on uh, Netflix and whatever else you sign into. Um, we do have five kayaks here. Um, there are two sit in, two sit on, and there's a kid's kayak there. Um, we want you to be able to use them and enjoy them. Um, we use them and we enjoy them. So please take care of them. Um, keep track of those paddles. They will float down the channel. And speaking of the channel, um, if you got kids, we just obviously ask you to be extremely cautious and keep an eye on them. Uh, it isn't very deep out here. In fact, at the end of that dock, it's probably only about a foot deep. And uh, it's fairly shallow throughout the whole channel. Um, so it, it makes for a fairly safe place for kids to play. But you obviously know your kids 
uh, abilities better than I do. And, uh, you know, if they use boats, they use kayaks uh, or the canoe, um, please put a please put a life jacket on them. We do have life jackets upstairs. I'll show you those in just a sec. Um, we keep some firewood here. Um, try to just do that more as a courtesy so that you don't have to go out and get it. Um, we're not trying to make any money off of it, but if you don't mind chipping in a few bucks just to kind of help cover it, it'll. Uh, I'll make sure to order more as it dwindles. And so, you know, if you would have gone through a couple bundles and that's 10 bucks and you want to leave five bucks on the counter, that sounds good. Our cleaning lady will snag it and uh that'll help pay for firewood in the future on the side here we've got the storage shed the left side is our personal stuff so we ask you not to go in there and mess with that but you guys can get into anything that you want here on the right uh, we got the extra propane there there is a rake i actually occasionally rake out the channel while it's flowing uh, it's nice just to kind of get the debris off the bottom and get the nice golden sand. You're welcome to do as much of that as you want. Uh, if you got kids you think would appreciate that, then great. There's lounge chairs. I believe at the start of the summer here, we have 14 life jackets, including the two cheapies up on the wall. Um, so if you'll do a count and um, make sure there's 14 there. If you find that there aren't 14, uh, will you please let me know and um, we'll try to track down who, who may have lost it so we can get it replaced. But uh, that's it. You know, if you have any questions, don't don't be uh, afraid to reach out. Um, my cell is 970-534-0004. We're going to be around the area for some of the summer. We've got a camper that we travel in also. Uh, my parents live a couple streets away. And our neighbor two doors down, his name is Mike. Uh, he mows for us. He's a super handy guy. And he can come over and help if there are any issues he also mows. Um, he tries to do it on Fridays, but uh, sometimes depending on the weather, he might, you know, need to go sooner or later. So if he does, he's usually pretty good about asking and telling you guys when he's going to mow so that you can clean up the yard. And uh, we ask that you do just uh, respect that, clean it up so he can get in there and mow and take care of it and uh, be on his way. But that's it. Welcome. Um, have fun discovering whatever you can find in here. Um, use it, enjoy it, and uh, we wish you a wonderful stay.